I went from this picking speed to this picking speed in one week. Technically, it's 10 days. What? But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I went from 110 BPM 60 notes to 165 BPM 60 notes. That's a 50% jump in a week or 10 days. So this is how I did it. And hopefully you guys can learn from it and get faster at speed picking. All right, let's go. So first off, the lick that I chose is the intro of Universal Mind by Liquid Tension Experiment, which Matthias Asoto played when he was 12. Yeah. Anyways, I love the riff. I've always tried to play it, but I could never get up to speed. So I thought to myself, hey, why not? Let's just do this. Let's just push ourselves and try to get this leg up to speed, all right? And the first thing I did with the riff is this. Instead of playing the whole riff, I just chose to only play the first part of the riff. Just one bar. And you guys might be wondering, Mark, why are you doing this? Why? Don't you want to play the whole thing? Yeah, of course I want to play the whole thing. But here's the thing. You're not going to get any faster if you're playing the whole riff the whole time, right? That builds endurance, not speed. If you play the entire thing every single time, what you're doing is you're just going to tire your muscles out. So instead, I just chose to play one bar, get the bar as f up as fast as I possibly can, and I'll work on the other parts later. So we're doing very concentrated practice right now. So I chose to practice only the intro part, and if I couldn't get it down, I'll break it down in smaller pieces, maybe just four notes at a time. And because remember, first things first, I'm aiming for speed, not endurance. Endurance is the whole passage, how long my, my hands can last without tiring out. So that's a different practice altogether. So first point is, practice smaller chunks. The next thing I did was this, I took more breaks. So what I would do is, if I could play at 130 BPM one time, I would take one to two minute breaks, maybe bump the BPM a bit, be able to play it, practice to be able to play it, bump the BPM a bit. Take my time, you know, take my time in resting because like I said, your wrist, hold on. I meant to say forearm. Your wrist and forearm, that's muscles right there and they get tired. So you gotta just rest. So point number two, take more breaks. So this is why I find people who can't play fast. But well, technically I can't play that fast myself. But generally speaking, people who can't play fast tend not to push themselves hard enough. And this is point number three. You gotta push yourself hard. You gotta reach like a breaking point. But at the same time, you don't want to push too hard, right? What? So the thing is this, if you want to get faster, you gotta be able to push yourself hard. So, and that kind of like correlates to point number two. You gotta be able to take breaks too. So you gotta know when to push and when to hold back. Point number four, which is related to point number three, you gotta kill your ego. Too many guitar players do this. They want to play fast, they're running to a brick wall. They're pushing the BPM as fast as they can, but they can't play. So you gotta kill your ego, you gotta say, I can't play at this speed, and you know what, that's fine. You're gonna work yourself up to that. Look at things objectively. If you can't play 130 BPM, don't go to 140 BPM. But, if you can kind of play it sloppily, and maybe push yourself, then you can try it, you know what I mean? But if, you, if you're like terrible at like 130 BPM, obviously you're not gonna play at 140 BPM, come on, you gotta practice it slower, all right? Know when to push and when to hold back. Aim to just get 1% better every day. If you get one BPM faster than you did yesterday, that's already progress. If you get five BPM faster, that's already progress. You don't have to go up 20 BPM every day. You know, take your time, enjoy the process. With all that said, let's check out the progress video. <laughs>
before you guys start with all oh, he's playing really sloppily and really fast yeah guess what i couldn't even play at 160 bpm sloppily when i first started i couldn't even play it so there's a bonus point to this you gotta practice fast to play fast and you guys might think hey sounds kind of contradictory with kill your ego well martin Miller said that how do sprinters get faster they sprint right so it's a balance actually you gotta know when to push and when to hold back i just have two more points but i'll be uploading those on patreon so if you guys want to support me on patreon if you guys want to know more secrets about playing fast do sign up for my patreon and i'll be sharing those with you guys and i actually love this leg i actually had a fun doing this i'm actually gonna learn the whole thing so stay tuned for that one and if you guys like this video please like subscribe share it comment what you like about it which point helped you the most i'm here to help you out peace out macaroni take care bye